Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. This reading is going to be for my beautiful... What did I do last time? Let's go with Scorpio. I think I did Libra last. Alright, so let's go do this, guys. If you resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you're not a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, it could be that you may be a Scorpio. You may have like heavy Scorpio placements in your charts, okay? So we're starting off with the Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy, a whole new beginning. But take a look at this Moon and then the Star. This is going to be really important throughout the reading, okay? Uh, the Moon, right? And then, and, and then the Star. Great. We're going with the Ten of Pentacles and... The five of wands here. This is beautiful energy. A lot of you guys are, think about it, the ten of pentacles, you are more successful than you've ever been in your life. Whether you see it, whether you realize it or not, this is a time to be completely, extremely grateful for everything you have. The only thing though, there's a little bit of a conflict and I think the reason why you don't see that you're at the ten is because of the conflict. There's inner conflict and we'll get to that in a second. Once you start uh, figuring out this conflict within self, then you'll be a little more managed, or you'll be a little happier, and then you'll see yourself that you actually are as successful as um, you thought you could ever be, right? But maybe you don't see it, and like I said, it's because of this, right? Pay attention again. You got the moon, and then the star with this wand, okay? The conflicting energies, some going forward, some going left, some going right, and the reason why is because of these two energies right here. This is the King of Pentacles with the King of Cups. Now look at the difference between these two characters. This is you, whether female, male, they, she, gender does not matter. I don't care. But look at the placements with these two. These are two powerful characters. Very powerful characters. They're two kings and one of the strongest kings, of course. You got a King of Pentacles in the dark. This person looks exhausted, but he is, when it comes to wealth, right? He's so focused on the practical stability when it comes to your wealth resources and uh, time he's very set and structured with those specific elements this guy's open to anything that comes to financial opportunity like i said you guys are so abundant but the only issue here is that this person is exhausted he is burnt out and maybe that's why it, it, it just seems like um throughout your week by the end of the week, you're done. Halfway through the week, you're done and don't understand why, right? Okay, we'll get back to that. Then we got the King of Cups energy. This guy is, when it comes to his energy, it's all about love. It's all about stability, emotional balance, right? Finding the nicks and knacks to make sure that he is fulfilled spiritually, emotionally, right? Balance though, stable. Those are, those are the things that, that uh, make the King of Cups happy. Balance, right? So when it comes to these two, this is exactly what we're talking about. These two are not balanced. That's why there's an issue. There's an inner conflict between both, right? And, and the advice here is to try to get both of these aspects put together. And then I ask, why is it that you guys are in conflict here? Because look at the difference between these two. This guy is always on the lookout to complete. He's always on the run. Do, 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 do on the, on the physical, practical matters. When it comes to getting things done, this guy does it all. Right? But the, here's the issue. Emotionally, you are closed off. Look at this character. He's closed off his hand versus this guy's hand. This guy's hand's open to opportunity. But when it comes to emotions, he's closed off. Look at all the emotions that he's trying to control and balance, but 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 because you're closed off, there's so much turbulence, right? Look at the look at the water here. Turbulence in your inside of you. That's just waiting and dying to come out and be released. But because you haven't released it yet, you're carrying all that energy inside, all that pent up energy, all that pent up, uh, not just aggression, but like emotions and your body's all tensed up and then you're running out there with literally um trying to do so much on the 3d that by the time you get home you're exhausted because there's nothing done with inside right uh it's almost as if you're carrying double the weight because you didn't release the energy and now you're going out there and like i said you're doing too much too much work too much uh you're just you're just doing too much so by the time you get home you have no more energy some of you guys need to manage your time better 
set some time aside to heal. Some of you guys are like, but I am healing. Well, that's the issue. Some of you guys think you're Superman and you're going out there and you're trying to do, do, do so that you don't have to feel these emotions. Um, these emotions are going to come out in one way or in another. So you have to find a way to heal and set some time apart to rest and deal with these emotions. And then later, you'll feel lighter. You'll have more energy, right? And the days that you don't have energy, go home and rest. Stop trying to go out there and do too much because then your body's gonna shut down on you. Some of you guys, I see you crying while you're out there during the week doing so much that you're gonna end up crying. And you're not gonna realize why. It's because you didn't set time aside to be at home healing. Your healing journey is just as important as your everyday tasks, right? And if you better manage your um, dealing with those emotions, then it's going to be easier to go out there and time manage, right? It's going to be easier. Um, so that's just the advice. That's all it is. Um, you know, you guys are doing great already. It's just that. You're wondering why you why it's so hard. Some of you guys are going through such a healing journey. You keep, it's like you guys don't understand that your body needs rest. So you guys think that you can do it all, but but really you're crashing and burning. Some of you guys are taking like double shots of espressos two three times a day just to get by. Some of you guys are on Red Bull. Some of you guys don't even sleep well because you're up at night. It's like you gotta give your body the rest it needs. Uh, if you don't, a tower is going to come in and it's going to have to teach you. It's going to have to humble you down to because your body needs to slow down, essentially. And then some of you guys, um, if you don't spend the time at home healing, you're going to end up crying out there and then wondering why you're crying outside. It's because you didn't give yourself the time. So that's all it is, really. Um, it's better. It's a balance. You can still go out there and be resourceful and focus on your time and your wealth and your resources. But remember, health is wealth as well. Emotional balance and stability is just as important as you going out there and achieving. You're already successful. You need to cut some time out to rest. That's priority. If it's in the cars and this reading gets to you, it's for you. <laughs> don't don't sit here and say no I can do this I got this and then the next thing you know is you're crashing and burning and don't know why it could happen I'm just I'm just letting you know I'm just a messenger here all right guys any other advice oh look at this rest 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 because a new opportunity financial emotional um a new financial opportunity is coming in Right, he's holding the thing, but again, new opportunities are going to come in for you, but they, the, the divine is trying to tell you that it, it, it doesn't think you're ready yet because you're not, you're not managing both, you're not balancing both, and it's about to come in, and you need to be careful because if you don't prioritize your, your emotions as well, um, you're going to take this opportunity that comes in, and you're going to burn out, and you're, you're going to think you can't handle it. This opportunity may come to you and you may just reject it because you don't think you have the ability to take it all on, right? And it may be true. You, your plate may just be 100% full. That's okay. But again, just, just take some time out to think about this. To rest as much as you can, like I said, because this new opportunity is going to come in and it's going to be a lot. You're not going to have much time to rest. So take the time out right now to reflect 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 all right guys i think that's all i have for you my beautiful scorpios if you guys resonate with the video like share and subscribe i'll see you guys next time